Čau svima, ja sam Kenan. A ja sam Emina i upravo smo stigli u grad. Gdje učestvujemo na internacionalnoj studentskoj konferenciji. Da bismo prezentovali naš rad o nikotinskoj ovisnosti. U narednih nekoliko dana družit ćete se s nama i pozdrav svima. Ćao. Ćao. Dobro jutro. Upravo smo stigli na prvi dan konferencije i ubrzo počinje ceremonija otvaranja. Što me tako gledaš? Nemoj da me gledamo kad bude fazma. Aha, ok, aj panovo. Znaš kako to izgleda? Samo vidim ovaj dio oka u kameri, ono. Sve da gleda u ustave. A treba malo i humora ubaciti. Ajde, ja. Dobro jutro, stigli smo na prvi dan konferencije i ubrzo počinje... Ovo se obasti. Ceremonija. Ceremonija. Hajde. Dobro jutro. Upravo smo stigli na prvi dan konferencije i ubrzo počinje ceremonija otvaranja. Nakon toga ćemo imati našu prvu radionicu, a u ostatku dana ćemo vam se javiti sa utiscima sa predavanja. Different bacteria in the gut microbiome of the cirrhosis patients than we have with people. And this is a problem. This is low diagnosis. Upravo hodamo na jednu jako specifičnu radionicu na kojoj će se koja će se zvati medicina u svemiru medicina i fiziologija u svemiru pa eto, ushićeni smo i javit ćemo vam šta se je tu radilo i nadam se da ćemo se uspješno vratiti na zemlju Ok, so we are talking now in English a bit. Uh, we are just finished with the uh, medicine in space uh, workshop and we are here with Professor Nando. Goswami. Goswami, yes. Uh, with a very interesting uh, view on the field of medicine. Uh, the professor is trying to see the connection and use the technology that astronauts use and bring it down to Earth and try to help um, entertain the idea of helping the, the people who are in third age uh, and help them uh, recover uh, more fast. So, professor, would you like to give a short message to students in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, maybe? Yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my message is very simple. Old persons spend a lot of time lying in bed. And actually, lying in bed is a model for spaceflight-induced deconditioning. We need to get people out of bed, because the earlier we get out of, them, out of bed, and the earlier they use their own weight in a gravity environment like here on Earth, they will be able to sustain their bones and muscles, which is very important for cardiovascular health. At the same time, we are also trying to use the technology that astronauts use in space, try to use that for the older persons that are lying in bed. Because when older persons are lying in bed, they are also losing a lot of their muscles. And if we use the technology that we have developed over the years with, for astronauts, this could really help them, such as resistive vibration exercise or using your own weight. So my message, please get all your older persons to move because really physical activity is the single most important thing, the gift that you can give to your older persons. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so and uh, with this message from Amina, Professor Goswami and me, uh, take this message from space to your homes. Thank you. Upravo smo završili sa drugom radioncom o istraživačkim metodama i idemo bila za knjihove laboratorije koje ćemo vam sad pokazati. Please enter. So the, the core facility is located at the Division of Cell Biology at the former time it was uh, uh, Institute, now it's a Division of, of Cell Biology. And why is this? Because there is a, a lot of history behind it and the reason for the cell biology that was always at a chronoscopy. And then they decided to make a core facility, so that's why we are here in the house. And yeah, we have it. Have, uh, so we have a lot of equipment for transmission electron microscopy and for scanning electron microscopy. A ja ću vam par kratkih teza objasniti o čemu se zapravo radi u našem istraživanju. Naime, mi smo pokušali da ustvrdimo da li postoji genetička komponenta koja utiče na teškoću 
nikotinske ovisnosti kod svake individue. Šta smo zapravo uradili? Uzeli smo DNK uzorke od 100 osoba. Neki od njih su bili teško ovisni o nikotinu, neki od njih su bili lako ovisni o nikotinu. I potom smo uh, utvrđenim metodama molekularne biologije pokušali da kompariramo rezultate i prisutnost te neke genetičke komponente na koju sumnjamo i ustvrdili smo da zapravo postoji genetička komponenta u koja utiče na nikotinsku ovisnost. Prezentacija je uspješno prošla i ovim videom se opraštamo od konferencije. Željeli bismo ovom prilikom da se zahvalimo BH Futures fondaciji na svojoj kako savjetodavnoj, tako i financijskoj podršci koja je omogućila da dođemo na ovu konferenciju, prezentujemo svoj rad, upoznamo divne ljude, networkamo sa njima jel? A, i doživimo jedno divno iskustvo koje je znanstvenog karaktera, koje je uprotivno ne bi bilo moguće. Tako da BH Futures, hvala vam još jednom. Veliko hvala. Vidimo se. Ćao.